having trouble to play Gorilla Tag as a beginner? Well, don't worry. You came to the right place. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to play Gorilla Tag. Okay, guys. Welcome to another video. I don't really post actual Gorilla Tag videos often. I usually post shorts. Of course, like I said, if I even did say, I'm going to start posting more videos often instead of just shorts. Which I think I did actually say. So, yeah. Um... Today's video, I'm going to be teaching all those beginners who just started Gorilla Tag how to play Gorilla Tag. So, let's get into the video. Okay, guys. So, first thing most beginners want to learn. And also, I, I just checked out this new update. And it's pretty cool, but I don't really get the whole moral. So, yeah. The first thing you'd want to learn is pinch climbing for most beginners. So, it's a pinch climb. This is how it looks like. It's basically, if you're running away from someone and you want to get away... To climb straight up away from someone. This is the best spot to pinch climb and to learn for beginners. So you want to grab something that's like something you can wrap your hands around. All right. So you can just climb up and up and run away. So let's say someone's chasing me. If someone's chasing me, he's right behind me. I can be like this. <gasps> climb away. But it's not. It's kind of a pretty classic move that almost everyone knows. So it's not always going to save you. But I'm still going to show you all how to use it. Basically grab around with two hands and you push up and you kind of make a circular motion like this and if you want to do it really fast you got to go like this and yeah so grab uh push up circular motion and repeat that until you actually get good because most people when they first start it'll kind of look something like this And then you might get stuck in the walls. You don't want that to happen. And then, once you're actually a big pro at pinch climbing, it should look something like this. Look at that. I'm already up. And, okay. That's a... <gasps> Dr. <Dug the> Buck! <gasps> Come here. Okay. I'm gonna use you for the clout. Alright? Never mind. <laughs> Second thing you want to learn is wall uh, Wall jumping. Break is my problem. The second thing you want to learn is wall bouncing. You go side to side so you can kind of juke people. So you go like this, 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 and you kind of just climb up while bouncing your hands off each surface. And yeah, you can actually do that with almost any surface you can find. And yeah, so in order to do this, you you have to kind of leap yourself over to a wall like this. And then don't make yourself bump into it because then you can't really do that. You have to have a fast reaction. So leap over to it and then... Whenever you leap over to it like this, you use your hand, make it flat, bounce off. Don't make it completely flat because you can auto, you can go a different odd direction. Like, like if you do it wrong like this, you go down. Or if you do it perfectly flat like this, you'll you'll most likely go side to side. So it's not very fast. So whenever you do it, make sure your hand is kind of like upwards, so you can kind of like stick your hand to the wall and push up. And then it should look something like this: jump, push up, push up. Push up, push up, but don't always go like push up, kind of do like the side hand too, like mix both of them, mix the side hand like this and bounce, and also do the push up technique, like that, so you should go like this, see, look at that, and that's kind of, and yeah, that's it, that's how you wall jump, if someone's chasing me, it's also another classic common move a lot of people know how to use, so you want to kind of use it a sneaky way that no one can predict, so something like this, while, while you're wall bouncing, someone's chasing you, juke them, go downwards, go up, Go down, go down, go this way, go this way, juke, juke, juke. Like, just make different directions to juke that that person that's chasing you. Because I'm actually pretty good at juking people when it comes to wall bouncing. And, yeah, that's kind of how you wall bounce. Number three, wall climbing. So, in order to wall climb, you gotta go, like, put your hand flat against the wall. But don't put it too flat, because, like I said, you might somehow bounce off. Just, like, with the wall bouncing. And then you're kind of supposed to bounce. Well, same here. You're supposed to bounce. Basically, put your hand right here. And I even saw this video that J-Man did. Whenever he was teaching the techniques, um, he was he was also teaching wall climbing. Because this is called wall climbing. He said, for example, act like you're Frozone from The Incredibles. It's to pretend like you're skiing or that you're Frozone from The Incredibles. Think like you're Frozone. You got to move left and right, left and right along the surface of the wall and kind of hang on the wall. Move left and right. Don't be afraid to move your body along as well. Because he goes side to side. He kind of like skis like this. So let's use J-Man's reference. Act like you're Frozone. You kind of keep going back and forth like this. Stick. Stick. And you just keep pushing yourself. 
push, and you push, push, and you push. And then you just keep doing that, that repetition. Then it should look something like this. It should look something like this. So if someone's chasing you, not everyone knows this trick, but most Guerrilla Attack players do, since it's really easy. Most people, it, it, uh, it kind of only takes like two or four days for them to learn this trick. It's pretty easy. Number four, wall running. Not every uh, player knows this trick, but most players do. But it's a little bit more challenging than wall climbing. Here's how it works. And it's most better to use wall running with wall climbing because it makes it easier. So if you're running away from someone from the previous trick, it's wall climbing. So if you're trying to run away from someone, wall climb up. And then once you get to a point where the surface is kind of flat, you think you can run across. You kind of, you want to make your hand like this where it can stick like this and then leap. And just keep doing that, keep doing that. And then you'll manage to learn how to wall run like this. And then yeah, then that's wall running. And if y'all wanna see how it looks like in motion, this is how it looks for this trick. And then you just keep your hand flat so you can make sure it sticks. Cause if you mess up one tiny bit and do it like this or something, you'll slip off. And we don't want you to slip off cause we don't want you to screw up. We want you to do good in gorilla tag. And yeah, that's how you wall run. You can just kinda wall run almost anywhere. See like this, you can, um. Either it could be a flat surface. Yeah, really anything. That's how you all run. Number five. Running. It's pretty obvious. Almost everyone should know how to do this. Every, Actually, everyone should know how to do this. But uh, I want to make sure y'all know how to do it the proper way. Because so, most beginners, they kind of run like this. Like, like they freak out and just kind of run super wobbly. And some even run like this. Like, like it's kind of hard for them to run. So make sure... Have cool momentum. I mean, actually have fast momentum, but make sure you keep it cool, stay calm, and you won't screw up. If you don't stay calm while you're running normally, like this, you could act, you, if you try to like run a bit too faster, you could kind of screw up like this. Oh shoot, and then you get stuck again. Like you can kind of like get stuck against the floor and you'll go like this. Oh shoot. And then that one little mistake could get you tagged. We don't want that to happen. Doug the bug, I'm making my video. All right, all right bet. Hold on, guys. Well, one moment, please. Doug, I told you to stay out of my videos. Yes, I know. I shut the cameras off. <sighs> you know what? That's a <laughs> bad boy. Mm. Shoo. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Uh, Doug the bug kind of got in my way. So, yeah. You want to make sure you don't screw up. Run like this. Flat. Kind of bend your, your wrist. And leap. So, like this. Leap. Leap. I think it's better to practice running by walking first. Make sure you know how to walk properly. Then start to speed up. Make it a speed walk. Then make it a jog. And then you'll turn that jog into a sprint. But instead of just running, instead of going, running like this, you could do that. But if you want a full sprint, you got to kind of flick your wrists up. So it should go something like this. Look, look at my hands. And you can just start running away. There's also a thing called funny running. Where you put your fingers like this. And then you like flick your wrist like this super fast. On the floor. And then you go this. Yeah, that's how you do that. Number six. Branching. Branching is one of the best ways to escape people. Almost everyone knows how to do it. But they're just not the best at it. Everyone has their own ways how to branch. Branching is basically where you travel from branches of the trees which is literally why it's called branching and you just travel back and forth from different branches so if someone's chasing me I, I can branch to escape them and i just travel from branch to branch really fast and that's how you do it and it should look something like this <laughs> lastly i'm going to show y'all bonus stuff so there's this trick called lucio running where i look i'm not the best at it i don't really even know how to do it because i don't normally use it in matches and not that many people know how to use it so it's not very common and it's basically where you do a circular motion with your hands like this which i'm not the best at i could pull up a reference of people lucio running see i can only do it for like two 
like the max seconds I've done Lucio run was like three seconds, which is one, two, three. And that's actually pretty long. Three seconds doesn't sound like a lot, but if you actually count three seconds the normal way, that's how long it is. And yeah, you can, uh, I'm going to pull up a reference. This is kind of how it looks like. And yeah, that's, that's Lucio running. And a last bonus before I think y'all are ready to go is juking. Juking is one of the number one things you should know how to do. Juking is also used in real life and sports and real life situations. So y'all, most people should know how juking works. And you basically just do that in girl attack. It's where you dodge someone's attack and absolutely break their ankles. But we don't have ankles, so we like to say wrist. So... You, so, if you accidentally juke someone a bit too hard, you would like to give their wrist back, hand it to the lava monkey, see, say, here's your wrist back, then kindly run away. And, yeah, that's that's kind of how you juke. Don't literally give them back their wrist, or else they'll most likely tag you. You can do it at the end of the round. I can pull up another reference of me juking my friend. <laughs> You're and, yeah, that's it. And another juke is like kind of where you someone's chasing me from behind. We can say that. And I jump on this tree, jump over, and I and people like to do this trick called clip. And then you act like you're taking a picture of them because you juke them that badly. And so if someone's running behind me, I can just go like, huh, huh. or you don't really gotta clip them. You just jump over them and keep running. You, there's also a spin trick to juke. So you go like that. You you jump on here, then you spin over and leap. Or if someone's juking, running at me, I can go like this. Whew, and then they can just keep running. And they'll be like, oh, shoot, I just got juked. And yeah, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope this actually helped. I'll be sure to make more videos. I'll actually probably post another one today or tomorrow after this video. Anyways, hope, hope this advice really helped. And enjoy your gorilla tag career.